We will discuss the last question for section C. So this is linear programming question number fifty. Now let's read the question carefully. Pujanga Bookshop sells two types of cookbooks, namely Asian cookbook and Mediterranean cookbook. The bookshop sells X Asian cookbook and Y Mediterranean cookbook. The number of Asian cookbook exceed exceed the number of Mediterranean cookbook by ten or more. The minimum number of Asian cookbook is twice the number of Mediterranean cookbook. But the total number of cookbook is at most eighty. The profit from the sales of Asian cookbook and Mediterranean cookbook are RM four ringgit and six ringgit respectively. Write three inequalities other than x greater than zero, y greater than zero, which satisfy the above constraints. Now let's. Highlight the important keywords. So the most important keyword is there are two types of the cookbooks, and the Asian we use X, Mediterranean we use Y, and X and Y are quantity number of books. So first of all, we see number of Asian cookbook exit exit when we see exit is always minus. Minus after minus, there is a different. The Y Mediterranean cookbook is Y by ten or more. There is a word more. So from this sentence itself, we can write X exceed Y ten or more. Right? Exceed exceed must have at least something like at least lah more than equal. So the first inequality done. Followed by, we're going to write the second one. We follow words by words. So when we see minimum, minimum it means at least. Okay, minimum is the same with the at least. At least two, two is the lowest. Two, three, four, five, six. At least two, right? So at least means minimum. The minimum number of Asian. Asian is X, right? Is twice is twice number of Mediterranean. Mediterranean is Y cookbook. So from this sentence, we can write X X is minimum. Minimum is at least two times of the Mediterranean. Mediterranean book number of Mediterranean book is Y. So be careful. Minimum means at least. That's how you write at least, right? So you can write like this if you want, two y less than equal x. But normally we will write this one first. Original is from here. Then you can write y as a subject. Normally, be very careful with this. You must express y as a subject. Okay, if not, you cannot uh jump into conclusion that above the line is more than. So um, we always want you to express the y in terms of x. Now we talk about profit. We have two already, right? So now we talk about profit. Let me erase because it looks like okay. We see the last sentence. The profit. We have three inequality, right? What is the first one? The first one is x minus y. Okay, uh, exit right, exit. When we see exit, we use this one, and then we have the x minimum, minimum. We say at least right twice of the Mediterranean. So the last one is this one. Now let's see, the last inequality is the profit. When we talk about profit, is something to to deal with money. Okay, for Asian and Mediterranean. Asian is X, right? And then the the 
four ringgit is meant for Asian because Asian first, so four x, followed by Mediterranean is y, so six y. Right, and Asian book is four ringgit. We have x size. One Asian book profit sales is four ringgit. Two will be two times four. X number x. Let's say x is ten. We will take ten times four. But x is unknown, so we say four times x plus six times y. And this is the objective function. We want to find the maximum profit. When talk about profit, we want maximum. Right, so automatically the question will ask you to find a maximum profit later. If it is cost or expenses, then we will find the minimum. Okay, optimum point will got maximum and minimum point. So here we want to find the maximum point. So we have to write. Uh, okay. Another one is we have to. Okay, we have another one. Total number of books. Right, we should have three in fact, plus the objective function which we have four. To total number of books. Let's highlight here. Total number of books. Okay, I'm going to use uh, total numbers of books. Where's my highlighter? Okay, let's see this one. Total number of books is at most. At most, okay. At most is opposite with the with the. At least, at most is, at least is this one, right? At most is opposite with the at least, eighty. All right. So we have, all together we have, one, two, three, four, four inequality, right? So we will we will write this one first, followed by the last part. We will use a, a objective function. Now using a scale of two centimeter. To ten books, construct and shade the region R that satisfy the above constraints, and state the objective function of the profit of cookbooks. Okay, just now we have wrote down is four x plus six y is equal to unknown. We haven't solved it. We will use a graph to solve let's, it later. Let's discuss question number fifteen about how to how to solve using graph. So we have uh, three inequality in the previous video. I discussed how to come up with the inequality. One is this, and then one one more is this one, and we have one more which is x plus y. X plus y is at most eighty, right? Okay. Now I would like to highlight to you for this one. You need to be rather careful because. Uh, this is minus, you know, so you have to shift the y to become positive, so that when you read, actually is is, uh, looking at the y as a subject, so it's y less than equal x minus ten, so it's less than equal, but there's a negative y, so if let's say this is a line, so you should shade the region beside below the line this is y less than x minus 10 remember this whenever we read we must have a positive y as a subject all right so let's uh, go through okay the graph how to come up with the how to come up with the x uh, x plus y equal to 80 so basically we will we will actually try to try to draw the the simple box right if this is x this is y so if i want to draw the x plus y equal to 80 i will just uh, substitute uh, x zero so this one zero off so i write zero so of course y is 80 right now let's say if i am going to change uh, y zero so this is x now y is turn is 0 so if y is 0 that means x is 80 so that's how we come up with the best two point so the point is here the point we can just uh, plug in the point here 
this is a point is uh, 0 80 and then for the other point is 80 0 is here 80 0 so this is 80 0 right so that's how we this is a0 so we we'll use a ruler we will place a ruler at the at the uh, 80 0 and then 0 80 so we must make sure the line is is correct so the ruler have to be adjust so that is exactly on the on the point right so that is how we adjust if not you will affect the answer later on okay so this is how you adjust the the ruler okay so this is a point 80 zero and it must be exactly on the line yeah something like that okay we have 80 zero we draw the line so the line will draw based on that okay now we will draw another line which is let's say we want to draw uh, we want to draw y equal to we have another one which is uh, this one okay let's say this one so we will write 2y less than x less than equal so meaning that we will make it 2y equal to x right so we will we will write y equal to x over 2 then we will sketch the simple table and normally for equation like this we know they are having passes through the origin so x0 y0 so maybe we can use any of the point maybe 40 x 40 y will be 40 divided by 2 20 so we have 0 0 and 40 20 so we go to 0 0 here 0 0 is here right so let's plot the point so 0 0 is here and then uh, when x is 40 y is 20 so it's this point right so we will place our ruler we will place our ruler on that two point all right so this is the point origin origin so we place a ruler here and then we will draw the straight line so that it will intersect with the with the line just now so we will try to make sure it is accurate okay so this is the point it must be exactly uh, on the point uh, 20 40 and 0, 0 okay looks like okay so we draw the line so the line that I'm going to draw will be I'm going to choose uh, green color this line All right so this line is uh, y equal to x over 2 so let me label this line is y equal to x over 2 okay for this line right okay we have solved the two lines already one is y equal to x over 2 and one is y okay x plus y equal to 80 okay settle and all these are actually solid line because uh, inequalities is equal okay now we want to draw another line which is actually uh, mm, x minus y equal to 10 okay how to draw x minus y equal to 10 that is a bit challenging right so i'm going to show you how to write using the blue pen so x minus y okay is uh, more than equal 10 actually so but we make it equal first so as i say we can bring the y to that side y equal to x minus 10 so we draw a simple table when x here y here when x uh, we don't choose negative all right 
we choose when x is 10. Then 10 minus 10 will get 0. Right? So 10 will get 0. Then you can choose any other x. Maybe you can choose uh, maybe uh, 40. 40 is x40, y is 30. So just any two point will do. Okay, so let's go to 10, 0. Uh, 10, 0 is here. Can you see that? I'm going to use a red pen. This this is... Uh, let's... Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you. This, this is the point that I want to... I want to show you. This is the point. 10, 0. Another point just now we have is 40, x40, x40 is here, 40, and y is 30, here, right? This is a point. So we will place the ruler and then we will draw. Okay, so that is how we draw. Right this. Okay, make sure you put the ruler and make sure it's exactly on that two point. Then only we will draw, alright? So we use a blue pen to draw. So this is the equation. The blue equation representing this one is y minus x equal to uh, ten, uh no. Let me write down properly. The equation in fact is x minus y equal to ten. So it's x minus ten equal to y. Okay, the blue equation here. Uh, when we draw, make sure is again it intersect at that if possible, but it's okay that part. So this one is y uh, y equal to x minus ten, right? Okay, so we'll do because uh, it's okay. This this part is okay. Because we want to focus on the shaded region, whereby we can see the. Okay, I'm going to highlight to you. We will see the 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 region here. This one, and this one, and this one. All these are the the border line. Right. Okay. So this is the shaded region. So all the answer will be from here. So this is a shaded region that we want. Okay, you can put the R there. All right. So if you can do until here, you will get six marks with a graph. Graph is three marks. All right, drawing uh, two equation correctly, you get one mark. All right, now we want to shade the region. Actually, how you shade the region is I I, I explain to you already. If you express y, example like just now, uh, I, I want to explain this one x minus. Okay, let me explain this. Uh, this one. In fact, your inequality is x minus y less, uh, equal, more than equal ten, but we will shift the 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 y to the uh, right hand side, so it become x less than ten, x minus ten, more than equal y. It means that y less than equal x minus ten, less than. So when it is less than, see we sh we shade the region which is below the which is below the line this is a line right uh, this part is the one that we shade but the one that we really want the three line intersecting the three region intersecting the blue below the blue line is here so this is the part that we want and then for this one or uh, this one is x for this one we we are having x more than equal to y but we when we read when we read we will read 2y less than x or y less than x over 2 that is why for the green line for the green one we will shade down also right shade down the shaded region is below the green line and then for x plus y less than 10 this one no problem this one uh we got no problem obviously less than it will be below the line because even you express y less than equal 80 minus x so that is how you come up with the region and then x more than zero y more than zero because x and y are quantity 
so that's why we got this region okay now finally we have uh, the most challenging part is this one we have 4x plus 6y equal to k right so normally we will find the lcm lcm we will just use one constant all right to find the the point you can use 24 or maybe 48 but there is another way that i want to teach you it's like this you just see you want to find the gradient right find the gradient you take 4 ratio to 6 isn't it here 4 here 6 right okay so if here 4 6 when you come to uh, drawing the line it become 6 4 you have to reverse it okay so you cannot say it's m equal to so you just use a shortcut m is 6 over 4 okay so we will go to the line here this line 6 and 4 see or not okay i'm going to show you how to draw that line okay that line is like this you have the shortcut i want to teach you the shortcut you can use uh, lcm method k equal to 4x plus 6y right so you just look at here 4 x is 4 right y is 6 but you reverse it you make it the y is 4 you count 4 i mean the ratio ratio is y is 4 opposite with the one if y is 6 then here y be 4 the gradient is for the line is uh 4 6 so here will be 6 right here be 6 here until here 10 20 30 40 50 60 so we have we have the we have identified six unit here four you can use 40 60 or you can use even here you can count here four uh, what i want to teach you is here six you can do so but you have to push the push the line up four here will be six so this is the line can also or you can use this concept 4 y4 x6 is opposite with the equation the equation is x4 but when we plot we will find 4 for y okay for x we will find 6 here you can use 40 60 4 6 400 600 you don't have right 4 6 or maybe you can use uh, 8 and 12 the ratio i mean for the y you use 8 x you use 12 or maybe you use y equal to 4 x you use 6 or ratio or else you can use a concept that i teach you is lcm right uh LCM for 4 and 6. 4, 6. 2, 2, 2, 3. Okay, so you can just use 2, 1, 3. So you just take 2 times 2 times 3. 12 also can. So uh, if I use uh, 4x plus 6y equal to 12, right? I can just assign the k as 12. So when x is 0, y is 2 when my y zero x is uh three so you can use two three also in fact right uh x zero y two x zero y two here which is very very small let's draw it uh two is here uh, let me use a red color two okay x zero y two then y0 x3 3 so it's a ratio right 3 here right so the line will be parallel 3 here 2 here or you can use 4 6 or you can use 40 60 any line then you push up the line push up the line 
or you can use a ruler let's use a ruler Oh, the ruler is there. It's transparent, so I cannot see. So I'm going to show you how to use a ruler to push. I already found using LCM, right? You see, you put the ruler like this. Then you push up the ruler. Push up the ruler. Here I can just... Uh, ah, yeah, that is the way. See or not? That is the way. You can, you can push a ruler like this. Then you will have this point. The maximum point is there, right? So we push further. So let's read the point. So if you really read this point, this point is at, let me see, uh, it's here. You can draw a line here. Okay, now we can keep the ruler. Okay, so this point we can read. This is a maximum point. So the maximum point, it happened at the 54 here right 54 is at 54 26 right so you can use a ruler this is the maximum point so based on that maximum point we will solve and find the maximum profit right that's all my sharing on how to find the feasible solution or optimum uh, solution for profit is always maximum then we will substitute into the K. The K is 4. 4 times uh, X is 54. And then plus 6 times 26. So the maximum profit is RM372. So that's the answer. Alright. So I hope you really understand. That's all my sharing. Bye bye and have a nice day.